Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome back to my channel. For this video, we're diving back into the archives and this is definitely going to be a transformation that you are not going to want to miss. This is my client Lara, and her nails naturally grow upward. This set is already a month old and was coated in a gel polish. The most difficult issue when completing a set on nails like this is leveling them with gel polish, as the drops of product will roll in all sorts of directions. My client's nails dramatically go upward, therefore this area really needs to be filled with product, which will also visually even out her nails. For nails like these, it's super important to remove the product from the tips, and then when applying the new product, not to apply too much to that area, otherwise it will visually cause the look of the tips going up into the spoon shape even more. So getting straight to work, I'm removing the prior product using a carbide bit with red abrasion, in other words, medium abrasion. And here are her nails without their coating. Lara really wants to keep their length, so I've decided that today we'll be strengthening her nails on a poly gel. By using a poly gel, we'll be able to create a more solid and stable base for a coating, especially when considering their length. Also, by using poly gel, I'll be able to manipulate and create the perfect shape for visually even and beautiful nails. Another step I would take to hide the look of her nails looking upwards would be to use a poly gel on the bottom of her nails. This would not only strengthen the structure of her nails, but also create a more even and natural shape. However, Lara prefers her nails in a ballerina shape, so applying product underneath just isn't an option, as the ballerina shape requires the sides to be filed. So I will try to convince Lara of that option next time, and if you all would like to see that, then let me know down in the comments section below. But before we get into applying any product, I'll be cleaning up the cuticle area using a flame bit with red abrasion.
After the cuticle cleanup, I'm applying a primer and a thin layer of a base coat and further applying our poly gel. As I mentioned earlier, the majority of product needs to be applied to the area that's sloping, where there should be an apex also. And we're going to need to apply quite a bit of product to this area. The poly gel I'm using here is from a Russian company. However, for anyone who is looking for a good poly gel or any other products, make sure to take a look down in the description box below where I've left an entire list of some of my favorite products that you can find right off of Amazon. After my client's nails have cured underneath the lamp, I'm taking my nail file and perfecting their shape. Her nails are shaped and filed beautifully, and because of Lara's naturally narrow shaped nail plates, her nails look absolutely gorgeous. Lara wants to keep her nails looking pretty natural and go with a design that is more subtle. So I'm coating her nails in this beautiful camouflage builder gel. Then over the sticky layer of the base coat, I'll be sprinkling on some gold leaf and finishing off with a little stamping. Now to coat everything in our final top coat. And we are finished. I hope you all enjoyed today's transformation, and if you did, then please let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up, and until next time.